everyone, I'm Chika and I'm staying home. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying sane and staying sanitized. So a couple of days ago, I made a vanilla bean panna cotta and it turned out so good. And I was so amazed at how easy it was and you can make it with such few ingredients. So I thought I'd make you a video. So for a vanilla bean panna cotta, all you need is fresh cream, some milk, gelatin, some sugar, and a vanilla bean pod if you have one, or you can substitute it with vanilla essence. So what I'm first gonna do is take some gelatin and uh, soak it in some water, mix it up really well, and let it sit for a little while. Then add the cream, milk, and sugar, along with the vanilla bean, either the essence or the pod itself. If you're using the pod, you've got to slit it open, scrape out all the little caviar type seeds inside, and also throw in the pod. Mix all of that and bring it, uh, it doesn't have to really boil, just heat it up a little, and keep continuously mixing so that the sugar dissolves. Um, take it off the heat, Put in your gelatin mix, mix it around, and it's done. Let's go. So I'm starting with the gelatin. I'm using bluebird gelatin. And I'm taking a quarter cup of milk. Some people also dissolve gelatin in warm water or cold water and mix it up. But I've chosen to do it in cold milk. So stir it really well. And then you can just set it aside while I add the cream and milk together. So I've got one cup of fresh cream that goes into my bowl. one cup of milk. This is a one third cup measure of sugar. Can you believe it only requires one third cup of sugar? And the vanilla bean pod that I'm going to scrape You get this kind of a black bean thing. And you can throw the pot in as well. I'm just gonna light my stove. I'm gonna keep it on low, a low flame because I don't want the milk to come up to a boil. I just wanna dissolve the sugar Okay, so it looks like all the sugar has dissolved. So I'm turning the heat off and I'm going to add in all the gelatin. Gosh, I do love my spatulas ensure that we don't waste anything. <laughs> and continue to stir it in so that the gelatin mixes well. Can you guys see what's going on in my dish here? Well, it just smells like hot milk, but I promise you, I've made this before and it tastes yum. Keep stirring and make sure that the gelatin doesn't uh, get lumpy. I do see a few lumps in here, so I'm just going to try and get them out. And you get them out by just continuously stirring. So right now the heat is off and um, I'm just stirring it. Use a whisk to stir your liquid because it'll just mix better. 
if you have put in the vanilla bean pod, be sure to remove it. And scrape out whatever you can. So I've been stirring this for a while now. It looks like it's good to go. Um, what we need to do now is put it into your dessert bowls. I'm using these little chai cups. I'm going to fill them up in there and then just let it sit in the refrigerator for about two hours or four hours. Basically the gelatin has to set and um, I think even overnight in the fridge might be a better idea. And when you're eating it, well, you could make like any fruit compote or if you have jam or, but you know, it's just going to be extra sugar, extra calories. So I reckon you just enjoy this plain. It's delicious. Now, if you're planning to use these dessert cups to overturn onto a plate after the panna cotta is set, you need to use like a little brush or even your finger. And with a little uh, vegetable oil, canola oil, you need to cover all like the bottom and the sides and the insides of your dessert cup but we're going to be eating it right out of these little cups so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to top them up It's ready to go into the fridge. So that was the super easy vanilla bean panna cotta. Just five ingredients, one cup fresh cream, one cup milk, one third cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla essence or one vanilla bean pod split open and one packet, one sachet of gelatin or one tablespoon of gelatin which is mixed into um, the milk before you add it in. It's that simple. Now, if you want to be a little more fancy, you can add a fruit compote or on top of your panna cotta before you eat it. But making a compote, as you know, um, you need a lot of sugar and some nice fresh fruit. And I'm not sure whether we require those additional calories. So if you've been working out at home, though, I say go for it. Or if you need to plate it really fancy for Instagram, then definitely make a fruit compote. Hope you guys enjoy making it. Thanks for watching. This is Chika saying bye. See ya.